Hi, this is Omega Supreme with another Transformers video review. This time we're looking at the Insecticons. Uh, so this is a Takara reissue of the G1 Insecticons. Uh, so we've got a Shrapnel, a Bombshell and Kickback. Um, I have these guys, I've had these guys for a little while now and just um, really keen on them. A Shrapnel here. Um, was probably the first generation transformer that I got so I really like this guy well, I'll just show you so you've got on him you've got some got some stickers on here they'll come with he's got his gun as well come with that you see the let's see sorry the light shining off the these bits here he's got a little compartment in here that opens up and they each come with Energon cubes. So you can put these in the little tummy here and close this up like this. He's got his gun on already. Articulation on this guy. You can just move this. His arms up and down here. His head doesn't move at all. His legs like this. That's literally it. And to transform him, real easy. As were all the G1 toys. Close this up here. Take his gun off here. Swivel this bit round here. Pull his legs out at the back. And slide. Oh, that one's a bit. There we go. Slide this bit here. Then underneath, you've just got some wheels and you just pull these out. And there he is, insect mode. So again, there we go. He's got his little energon cube in there. Or if you want to have him out on display with the energon cube, let's see if I can get this out. It's a bit tricky. You can have him. All the insecticons kind of munching on these little energon cubes, if you wish. So that's sharp now. It's got this little rub sign here as well. There you go. Just about saw that. There you go. Next up, bombshell. Oh, revealed his head there. So this is him in insect mode. Again, a pretty good toy because uh, he's generation one. He's got all the die cast bits of metal here. Uh, they're all. Uh, coloured the same, all the Insecticons are purple, black and yellow. Transform this one, just as easy. Pull back his head, this bit on his head here. Pull his arms forward and then pull these bits down here. And that's him done. Articulation pretty much the same on this guy. His arm can move all the way across here. This bit can move this way slightly. He's got a little bit of, I'm not quite sure which best, how he's, oh this bit, his waist doesn't swivel, but his leg, like, you've got a little bit of bendiness there, but none at the top here because that's actually screw there. And I've got this guy's gun here somewhere. I think this is, ah yeah, this is his gun because it actually goes straight into his hand there. So it actually pegs into his hand. Shrapnel one's just kind of clips in over his arm here. This one actually clips in. So I'll just stand him up at the back. Ooh, back there. He doesn't stand up that well because of his legs. And it's on carpet, so can't blame him too much. Alright, so let's move these in and on cubes out of the way in the gun here. Next up we've got kickback. So this is him in insect mode, kind of uh, grasshopper, I guess. Locust, I suppose. Here we go. Yeah, more grasshopper, I think. Transform him. Just turn his head round at the top here. Like that. Then at the bottom, fold his, these bits in to the back. You can then stand him up. Fold these silver bits back like this 
pull his arms forward and clip them together like that. You can bring these bits forward as well. There you go. And pick up his gun as well. And his is very much like shrapnel. You can see that it just clips on over his arm there. There you go. Shiny chrome goodness there. And it comes with these cards. Obviously, I can't read them because they're in Japanese, but you have got the, the tech specs that are on there as well. That's decent artwork on there, on the G1 artwork. Okay, and then move this out of the way, and I'll show you the box. Sorry, guys. Shuffle you guys out of the way. And ah, here we go. I can't really show you this very well, this camera. You've got some art, artwork on the back here. Um, just shows you what it comes with. The Enjon cubes, the blasters, the uh, cards here, and the three lots of stickers. And it shows you a, little, a few pictures on here. And then some of the other reissues that are in the uh, collection here as well. Uh, if you can open it up, and you've got a little booklet that comes with it here. You probably can't see that that well. There you go. It's got a picture of them all together there on the front. Uh, you can take this out so you've got little perforations on the side here. So you can put it into something. Uh, it's about A5 size, I guess. But again, it's all in Japanese. Uh, it comes with a little poster as well. It's quite decent, isn't it? And then some other little bios as well on them as well. So we've got shrapnel there and some pictures of them actually in a cartoon here as well. A bombshell there. Um, I don't know, perhaps I'm missing a page off it, but I don't seem to have one there for kickback, which is odd. But yeah, that's that's the Insecticons. Put them back in again. Great little set. Classic G1 toys. If you haven't got these guys in your collection, well worth picking up. There we go. Especially as they come with the little... I love the fact that they come with little Energon cubes as well. Brilliant. Well, uh, this is me signing off. Uh, that's the end of the review. Uh, don't forget to comment, subscribe, uh, like, dislike. Uh, tell me what you think. I'm going to be doing some other reviews later on. Uh, possibly Generations Bumblebee 30th Anniversary, uh, Megatron, Trail Cutter. Um, I've also got Grimlock away there as well, so I might try and do him as well. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.